This is Andy with QualityStocks.net. Today is Friday, March 26th. We'll be taking a look at American Petro Hunter. It's in a NASDAQ bullet board stock trading under the ticker AAPH. This is a classic climb consolidate climb pattern. And why I'm looking at this chart again, you can see back November of last year, it held a base at 30, made a climb to about 60. Nice 100% move, held the base. Over time, it made the climb again, about a 100% climb. Call the top there at 114. This last month, it's made a consolidation pattern. This is what can be called a small cup pattern. A cup and handle is a continuation pattern. You want to see this come up, eventually launch right through. You look for a couple different things. This is what caught my eye, the big volume yesterday. Moving averages are curled back underneath it. It's moved back above the 20 day. It's trading over the 50 and 200 day, which is bullish. It hit the parabolic czar, which hasn't flipped. We'll be looking for this piece R2 uh, flip to the bottom side of it, hopefully with a volume push again today. And over the next few days, we want to see a run at this 114 level. You can see everything gets overbought heavily. It takes time. It has to come back down and uh, consolidate. You can see the longer term RSIs held the held held 50, which is bullish. Now they're all curling again and looking like this is strong to possibly make another turn. Interesting also to note how I talk about the 50 day being a support level. Came down on the worst down day it had since this climb. Bounced right off this 50 day, came right back up. The curling cut pattern still in effect. All the other indicators have done the same thing as the RSI. Reached high levels on, on the moves, came down, consolidated, turned and ran again. You can see the MACD in the same position it was before when it made the big move. Same thing with the ADX. We're getting the cross right there, a bullish cross of the positive and negative DI. The positive DI crossing through the ADX, all bullish. Money flow has depreciated in a bit of a downtrend. We're going to hopefully see this curl back up, hold zero, and see money flowing heavily back into this. Full still reached almost a bottom level. Didn't get below 20, but it did bounce off of 20 and made the move again. Tricks in a little bit of a downtrend, but looking like it's getting ready to curl and cross again. All classic kind of setups in a cup and handle pattern. This has been the beginning of making a very early one. You'll hear me talk about rounded bottoms. Right now, this is making a rounded bottom. It's starting to move back of it. We like the fact those moving averages are curled underneath it. Of course, I'd be looking for a support level of 85 to hold. Of course, the 50 days dynamic. It will continue to rise. If it does, if this doesn't make a move within the next couple days. Uh, if it does want to drop back down, the 50-day will get up here. We should find a very strong support level when this 50-day gets up near 85. If this does want to come back down. But right now, we're looking for volume to increase and to take a run at this 114. Break through it, set that up as a new support level. I like, I like the possibilities of this. I like this 100% move, 100% move consolidation. Now, I'm not sure if this will go 100% again from uh, 114. But I would say it does have a realistic shot at 100% from this 85 cent range. So I'd set the target up near a buck 50, somewhere around there. Nice looking chart. This is Andy with QualityStocks.net. Take a look at AAPH.